I think it's working? Where did it go? Oh, there it went. Sorry. Sorry, I literally haven't, like, done anything in my office for, like, over a week because of as sick, of I've, as sick as I've been. So I was just, like, cleaning up all the random junk sitting on my desk and everything. I still have I still have the unopened box of Delson 12-hour cough syrup that I ended up not needing. <laughs> This shit is seventeen dollars. What Holy the fuck? fuck? Seriously, cough syrup is ridiculous these days. My mom bought my mom bought this and then the like the Mucinex liquid. That's got it's it's the dextromorphone whatever, and then you know like the expert expert I Can't say that. And that was seventeen dollars. Like holy crap. Did she not get the generics? The generics are still like twelve. I know, but that's twelve, not seventeen. Yeah, but when did cough syrup end up costing like twenty bucks? Jesus. When it became more than just cough syrup. This is just cough syrup. It's seventeen dollars. <laughs> I mean, yes, it's Delsum, but like, I actually don't think Delsum works that well, honestly. Which is weird because it's the same active ingredients that's in the Mucinex. The Mucinex seems to work really well. I might be good at they they add that exporant. All right. Well, this is the first time I can drink in a week, so fuck it. Chug that booze. Chug that booze. Whiskey of of alcoholics everywhere. <laughs> Windsor is like literally my favorite whiskey for just like I'm gonna make a sour. <laughs> it's so fucking cheap. This bottle. This bottle was like eight bucks. <laughs> it's like actually like decent whiskey <laughs> I could pick up one of like the big like gallon jugs for like 20 bucks it just fucking amuses me I'll use this side take that upstairs tomorrow All right, sounds like an earthquake just happened on your desk it did that's how good this drink is. No question it. It's true. Okay. Mmm. Overly strong. Woohoo! Whiskey sours. Hey, I slept for three days straight, give or take a like a day of work in between. I was really sick. <laughs> I'm pretty I'm pretty sure given what I've been hearing from my family who have similar have had similar cases, it's a it's it's a case of it's a case of walking pneumonia because everyone who has had this like me has ended up getting diagnosed with walking pneumonia. I'm just like, well, I guess I just toughed it out because I'm an idiot. I thought it was just bronchitis. <laughs> My mother. Plague. It was bad and everybody has it in town. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I've been brutally ill since Saturday, like. Last night or yesterday afternoon, I felt half decent. I still went to bed at like 10, 11 o'clock. And I, today I was basically just waiting for the day to be over so I could come home. I was going to take a nap before the before the show. Didn't happen. I ended up playing Minecraft. Huh. Hello and welcome to episode 79 of the Super Happy Fun Jabatron Tea Party with Kiki and Bones. Everyone is sick and the world is in chaos, so just sit back and relax with an ice cup of tea and enjoy the show. So, uh, yeah, after watching... Uh, those are key with you. What we watched it subbed, we watched we watched part of it dubbed, and then I ended up rewatching the entire thing dubbed again because uh, honestly, just, I was having a hard time paying attention the first couple times. <laughs> and it ended up being a really cute show. Oh, uh, like I mean, obviously, Jesus Christ, that was manly. Just letting the demons out. Uh-huh. I don't think there are any demons in you. 
The demons are on the outside in your case. Thanks? I don't think you're hiding any demons. I'm not hiding them. <sighs> oh, so good. I missed you, Boozahal. What? I like sour mix. Shut the hell up. Uh, all right. I didn't say anything about it. Uh huh. I saw your face. That's all I had to see. Uh huh. Well, everybody yeah. else can't, so me. Yeah, they so never know the faces American. you're making. I'm what African the fuck? American. Fucking. Sorry, a webpage auto loaded something and scared the shit out of me. And Good it's doing can... it again. Ah! I couldn't hear it on my end. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Losing that webpage. Uh, that my baby's going to hell in a handbasket quickly. <laughs> Fuck you, Vogue, and your auto playing shit. I was just trying to read the article, not the video. Anywho. Hi, Bones. I am Bones, destroyer of baked goods. So neither of us are dead. No. Despite, Although. Despite everything our bodies have tried to do, we're still yeah. kicking. <laughs> my body isn't trying to kill me, my body's trying to save me. It's just been an up. It's just been an uphill battle the entire time because I've had to work almost every day that I've been sick. Because you know, sick days are really a a thing that we need to have more of. America and sick days; those aren't things. Or just the ability to not be punished for calling yeah. in sick. We employees aren't people. Corporations are people. So clearly employees don't need sick days, maternity leave, insurance, overtime pay, other things that we should probably get and people think they get, but they probably don't. I was shocked we don't get sick days at my job because, like, we get all the other good shit. You don't have sick days? They don't give us sick days. I get a couple of, like, personal days, but, like, I'm saving those for, like, when I'm so sick I can't move. Like... If I had to go to work like on Wednesday, yeah, I would have called in sick because I like literally, I I literally went to bed at ten o'clock on Tuesday. I didn't wake up again until noon on Wednesday, and then I was awake for like an hour to drink some Gatorade, and then went right back to sleep. I was so I was just so sick. Oh, it was so bad. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Well, I'm glad you didn't die of space plague. No, it was unlikely I was going to die of it. It's just, it was no fun. Because, like, this weekend's the first time I'm getting more than a day off in, like, ten days. So it's like, oh, great, just in time for my weekend off. Although I am feeling a lot better. Although now my allergies are running high, too, so it's like, oh, great, so now I'm not just, like, getting over something, I'm also having allergy attacks. What a joyous day this is. I could just hang myself. Yay! My body's trying to... I'm not sure what it's trying to do, but whatever it is, it needs to stop. Apparently, I don't like my medication anymore. I must eject everything from myself. Oh, okay? I see the doctor next week for referrals and, uh, and such, because she's on vacation right now, which she's allowed to do, because she's a person, too. But, yeah, it it... It's like a very, not super sudden, like I've been noticing a downturn, but, you know, you kind of expect that your your body adjusts. But then there was just this sudden turn into, everything sucks again, I'm going to go be like I'm not taking anything. Well, okay then. Yeah, uh, the other night I legitimately considered stabbing my eye. Ow. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, luckily I couldn't get up. So, dog was on top of you. <laughs> My legs were too busy fidgeting everywhere for me. Oh. To get up. So the dog was more next to me because I was moving too much for him to be on me. Also, I probably would have fallen on the way to the kitchen. But uh, let's let's move past me being all dramatic and shit. Oh yes, that was dramatic. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's what everybody else says. Uh, That's what they said about me being sick. They're like, you're just being dramatic. I'm like, you want some of this? Come over and I'll sneeze on you. No, 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 no. You keep your distance. 
You said I was being dramatic. Why? Let me sneeze on you. No, I don't want to catch it. So you said I was being dramatic. Well, you are. Well, then let me sneeze on you. No. Well, why not? You said I was being dramatic. Yeah, dramatic about being sick. Now that you're not sick. What? We think you're sick. We just don't think you're as sick as you say you are. Well, then come over here and let me sneeze on you. And then in two or three days, you could have what I have. And I'll share the goodness with you. Yes, I don't come. want to find out if you're lying. Come What's catch my drama. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, ignoring all the bullshit apartment stuff, today's been a better day. That's good. I'm sorry about the... You messaged me about, like, somebody put, like, ramen powder packets in the in the dryer? Not just the powder packets, the dry ramen, too. And it's not like this fell out of someone's pocket. This was a full package crumbled up. It wasn't wet or anything. It was clearly intentional. And because the lid had been closed when I locked, when my husband locked up, he didn't look at anything beyond, are there clothes in here? Because he needed to come back and help me up from vomiting. So when I open up this morning to clean, I'm like, what's crunching on my, under my feet? Why is there ramen on the ground? Why is there ramen in this washing machine? What the fuck? I don't. Apparently, there are a couple of tenants who are trying to get us fired because they dislike us, and they don't understand what nepotism is. Because them damaging property is not going to get us fired. Us catching them is going to get them, you know... Evicted. Yeah, for vandalizing pop and destruction of property. Apparently, they want us to be fired because we don't let them do whatever they want, like leave glass in the parking lot because I'm tired of cleaning up glass. Or, you know, have uncontrolled flames on their back patio. Uncontrolled flames? What? Dude, this guy has a barbecue. He could have burned these papers in a barbecue. You can burn shit outside if it's in something in California. But I'm. It was the. it's the apartment below the girls. I was up at the girls' place. This guy was burning paper on the ground next to the fence. Does he understand that that's not just stupid, that's a fire risk? Yeah, apparently he was upset because I was all up in his business. Not be because I was concerned that he had an open fire next to the fence. The old, crappy, wooden oh, fence. Yeah, he's, he doesn't even understand how fire works, I doubt. Anyway, I, I could rant for ages. It's not everybody here. There are plenty of really nice tenants. Few bad apples who I really want to punch in the face. That's what they all say. And the next time I catch them doing something, I'm not going to give them the benefit of telling them to stop. I'm just going to start calling the cops because I'm tired. <clears throat> Anywho, we were talking about yellow face earlier. <laughs> Let's yeah. talk about that instead. Indeed. So new ghost in the shell, huh? Yeah, it should be should be quite the train wreck when I finally Yeah. Well, assuming it makes it out. We'll see. I don't know. I mean Lucy made it out. And that was a train wreck before it even got out. Which is another Scar Joan whitewashing character. I'm not saying she's a bad person. I I'm I'm saying she needs to realize this trend and maybe read more into what she's picking up. And uh, it also doesn't help that the ancient one from the Doctor Strange movie is, while a wonderful actress, suddenly a white woman instead of an Asian man. I would have been fine with an Asian woman or some other ethnicity, but a white character on no, top he, of an actor. This is American cinema. We can't have people of color. That's just silly. <laughs> like, seriously, it's not like... It's not like we don't have Asian actors. Yeah, but if they'd used any of them, it would have been stereotypical. They didn't want that. So they picked a white British actress. Oh, Certainly, you know, certainly sent everyone for a loop. Yeah. Like, I, I don't even remember... Because the the original teaser trailer is so surreal and I only saw it once, like, I don't even remember seeing her. But looking back, I'm like, yeah, that was totally her. What? Because I don't know 
terribly much about Doctor Strange's origins compared to what he's done lately. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, um, the Ancient One, was it Iron Fist is being played by a white guy? Is it, I don't know the character's name. The martial arts guy that teams up with Luke Cage sometimes. Sure. Yeah. I I don't know. He's getting like a mini series or fucking something. Apparently, he's going to be played by a white guy. I don't know if this version, because there's multiple versions of the characters, and one of them isn't necessarily Asian. Maybe it's that one, but that doesn't mean it couldn't have been not another white guy, considering how well Marvel's been doing lately. Mm-hmm. Especially with some of its blind casting choices for, uh, admittedly, secondary characters, but still. Well, hell, they're having they're having trouble just keeping the actors the actors and actresses the same, given how they're paying people. Yeah, yeah. Like every time a new series of movies comes up, they're like, "Are we negotiating your contract?" He's like, "I'm getting the fuck out of Dodge." Yeah. Which, you know what, is a legitimate thing you you should be allowed to do because it's your life, and you shouldn't have to work on things you don't want to or be stuck on something you don't want to be stuck on forever or whatever. I got a feel for the guy who was the first, uh, the first war machine. He was like, I want more money. They're like, fuck you. We'll get this other dude. The other dude's been in like five other, five other Marvel movies. Yeah, he actually has a D. Well, yeah. apparently, um, what's his face? What the fuck is his name? Cause Don, Don Cheadle took the original guy's plays. Yeah, I can't remember the original guy's name. Like, he's a great actor, but apparently he's a little bit of an asshole. Yeah, so. he's, he, he's also gotten completely batshit crazy, I guess. Like, like a beautiful mind, if a beautiful mind was on methamphetamines. Wasn't he recently OJ? I don't think so. In the... I, think the, I don't think the, he's been acting. No, in the, the OJ trial minis, miniseries. Possibly? I, I don't watch TV, so that'd be you more than me. Yeah, on American Crime Story. All right, Terrence Howard. He was uh, Cuba Cooding Jr. Cuba Cooding Jr.? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's still getting work. Uh, he was... Yeah, he's been in a couple things. Okay. Ah, that's his name. Mostly TV since... Uh, since he dropped off of the Marvel Universe. And of course, I'm a little sad that... I knew it wasn't going to happen, but it would have been really awesome if this universe's... Spider-Man had, had been alternative universe Spider-Man instead of just Peter Parker over again. Uh, no. Yeah, I know. It'll be main universe Peter Parker. I know. He can dream... Dream. If DC could get their heads out of their asses for more than 10 seconds, they might actually be able to do some fun shit with all their alternative universes. But fuck that. That's Warner Brothers. They don't fucking even know how to make a goddamn movie. Apparently not. Oh, fuck. Batman versus Superman was a fucking travesty. I'm not planning but, to watch it, especially what I've heard of it, which is why I've, I'm never it's great, going... It's a great dumb... Yeah. Hero movie, it's not. They they very quickly realize that they're like, oh my god, we've got to we've got to try to meet up against fucking Deadpool, fucking yeah. Deadpool, which was made for like, what was it like half of what what a normal Marvel movie's made and is like ridic like ridiculously fucking just destroying box offices. Yeah, like they built this movie that was like three times as expensive with all these great superheroes from DC. And it's just like, now we have Suicide Squad pretending to be fucking Guardians of the Galaxy. Because, oh my god, quirky heroes that don't really belong together. Except that, you know, like, Disney and Marvel and the directors all sat down and thought it out for about five, ten years. And then fucking made the movie instead of being like, ah, shit. We gotta do like the cool kids did. Well, Suicide Squad's based on a comic. Yeah, but... They're but, making Suicide Squad because yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy is doing I it. I know, I know. 
uh, Deadpool to make was only fifty eight million compared to Batman versus Su- Superman, which was two hundred and fifty million to make apparently. Yeah. And Deadpool has made seven hundred and fifty eight fifty four point eight million so and far. I guarantee, and I guarantee you that the second one that's already been greenlit. Yeah. The 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 uh, budget for that one's going to be about five times as big. That'll be a that'll be a fucking star studded motherfucker. That's for sure. <laughs> because now now he proved that he could actually make a decent fucking Marvel movie with a shoestring goddamn budget. So now we're actually going to get like a an actual like amazing Deadpool movie. Like not that the f- I haven't even seen the first one yet because we just never got to the theater. But, like, from what I've understood, like, they did an amazing job with basically no money. So now they're going to get to make an actual Marvel, like, Marvel Disney grade fucking Marvel movie. It's like what's going to happen with uh, the second Guardians of the Galaxy. It's going to be, like, ridiculous fucking, like, no holds bar. Like, you're going to get all the money you need to make a fucking movie. And it'll be just fucking balls to the wall, motherfucker. Yeah, because that was a product of love and not. Let's make a movie with a lot of stuff in it, because people will watch it. Look, it's Wonder Woman. Hi! Walks through the scene. Yeah. I think we we talked about that last podcast, like, seven minutes all together or something like that? They want, they want Justice League so bad, and the whole thing is, like, all they would have had to do... <coughs> <coughs> Just so fucking have them show up... <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me, at the end. And they didn't do that. So, fuck it. Like, yeah. they're hinting that there's going to be a Justice League, because obviously if there's an Avengers, they got to have Justice League. Well, apparently like, there's going to be a Justice League Avengers was part like, one and two. What now? Apparently there will be Justice League part one and Justice League part two. Yeah, whatever. It burns in hell, guaranteed. This, this you gotta is why build I don't... A, Tend to watch, watch, tend to watch live action DC stuff. Because I mean, you have to build a universe to have like the team up movies. Like that's yeah. the whole problem. They didn't build a cinematic universe. There is no Warner Brothers cinematic universe. Yeah. Is it, like animated universe. Oh hell yeah, yeah, that goes all over the place. No matter like, because like even if they're not the same era, <laughs> ever since uh, what uh. Oh, I can't think of his name. Is it Paul Paul Dini? No, the the guy the guy the guy who spearheaded the original Batman animated series, like in the early nineties. Oh, um, uh, I want to say the last name is Dini, but I don't think that's right. Bruce Tim. Bruce Tim. Wait, what? And um. Oh yeah, you're right. It's Bruce Tim. Is he? With with especially with Batman in the animated series, he really locked in the sort of Oh, Paul style. was the writer. Yeah, okay. That's who I'm thinking of. He's the guy who wrote the the overarching storylines. Yeah. Bruce Tim is the on <coughs> for pretty much almost any uh, DC animated movie these days. Mm-hmm. But he but started the whole exception. universe that like yeah. basically no matter what variation or iteration you're seeing is some variation of that world. Like, yeah. animated Batman is always the same. Animated Superman is always the same. And while there's a whole bunch of different, you know, Green Lanterns, they're all about the same. <coughs> Maybe a little different personalities, but, you know, similar, you know, why they pick a Green Lantern is almost always the same. Well, yeah. I mean, there's really only one Green Lantern that, uh, Batman likes to punch, but yeah. Isn't that the goofy white one? The redhead, what's his name? Oh. Not the Earth one. He's the actual like he's the one that's friends with the the like the original Green Lantern. Not the badass black marine one that's in Justice League, like the animated series, but the, No, not John Stewart. Um John Stewart's actually cool. Like I like yeah. him. The fuck was his name? Well, because Ryan Ryan Reynolds was the the dude. Fuck, I can't think of. I know, I know who you're talking about too. God damn it! 
It's not the guy Ryan Reynolds played, because that's, um... That's the, that's the, like, the original modern Green Lantern. Yeah. Like, not John Stewart, but his predecessor. You're talking about that, the the original, not Hal Jordan's buddy. Right? The guy who's like, he's a human, but he's not Earth's Green Lantern. He's like another. Yeah. He's, um, hang on. Is Guy Gardner? Yes, it's Guy Gardner. Guy Gardner, thank you. I know they all have stupid names, like stupid easy names is all I mean. What's your name? Something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's like, it's like we were having a conversation. I'm like, it's like the people are like, what would happen if Goku and Superman met in a fight? Nothing. Because they're both defenders of justice. I mean, I can understand Go- Goku want ha- to have, you know. They'd have a good a, sparring a, match. A sparring match, but that's not the same fucking thing. Yeah, it'd, it'd be a friendly sparring match. It wouldn't be like Titanic world ending fight. It'd be like, hey. Let's go to the World Martial Arts Tournament and, like, you know, spar with each other in the Have opening fun. round. You yeah. know, before, you know, stupid bad guy shows up and ruins everything. Because they always do. Because generally, if there's going to, you know, inevitably, if there's a World Martial Arts Tournament, some shit's going to go down. Because you can't have a World Martial Arts Tournament without some fucking bullshit hitting about halfway through. And then the tournament gets canceled because, you know, apocalyptic evil. Always happens. I mean, I like Akira Toriyama. Don't get me wrong. He's a great manga artist. But that motherfucker played that trump to death. Sorry, I'm still dry-throated and fucking wheezy. That's all right. But I mean, it's just like, I don't know. I just, I, I've been I have been greatly disappointed in basically a lot of like comic book movies, except for the shit that Marvel's putting on. Even some of that's not that great anymore. I mean, Age of Ultron wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst either. It was still enjoyable. Oh, that was no. Day, you're talking about Day of Ultron. That was that was serviceable. Yeah. Like it was. I liked I liked the dude who played Ultron. Like oh he yeah, he was funny as hell. Yeah, it was still an enjoyable movie to watch. So I mean, it wins there. Uh oh. Oh, okay. What? What, huh? Your your screen locked up for a moment. Oh, oh, probably because I opened the Blu-ray drive. Oh, okay. Because I'm silly. But, uh... And there's um, uh, we, a, we a enjoy- mild thunderstorm here, so hopefully the power won't go out. Oh, that'd be bad. Someday we need to get you a, a UPS system, so you don't have to worry about that. I need a lot of new things. A new life. <laughs> Non-corded headphones. I'm sorry. I mean, I've got Bluetooth headphones, but I wouldn't be able to hear you. They only work with my tablet. Did, however, just purchase a new phone. I won't have it until May, but I'll have a new phone again. Yay. It works. Yay. What'd you get this time? It's an LG Power. It's 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 essentially a slightly better Moto X. Hey. Because I'm still piss poor and can't buy ultra fancy, but it is ser- serviceable. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about getting a Galaxy S7 in May when my contract's up. I'm not sure though, because I don't want to. They are finance. so fucking pretty. I know. Well, the S5 is starting to show its age, and I don't really want to pay. I, if I go to that, I may drop the insurance on my phone because I just I can't do eighty bucks a month. I'm already. Do, I want to say I can't do more than eighty bucks a month, and I'm already paying. 80 right now so if i if i have to finance the phone it's another 30 a month and i'm just like i'm not paying 110 a month for a phone that's just insane i can't believe i'm paying for like once like once a quarter i use more than two gigs of data but i don't i do not want to go down to to two gigs of data to save money because i know inevitably i'll do like five gigs that month and get charged like 800 bucks Ooh, Sentai Filmworks August 2016 release schedule. What's coming out? Stuff. More stuff. Uh, we've got Gourmet Girl Graffiti Complete Collection Japanese. I was going to say that's really adorable, but if it's only da- Japanese, then no. Yeah, I, I just I have a strict rule now. I don't buy unless it's something that you and I have both watched or something that's phenomenal. 
I, I don't. You buy can still watch that on Crunchyroll. So yeah, no. Like some movies, there's some movies where like they don't dub it, and it's just like that was a really good movie, like maybe like a Miyazaki film. Mm-hmm. But those all get dubbed because they're Disney properties over here. Like Disney has exclusive rights to all of his stuff, so it's like, oh, well, we should probably dub that. I still can't believe they redubbed uh, "Whispers of the Heart." That was weird. I'm not sure why. Because like the last, it's the same reason they redubbed. Uh, they talked about redubbing Kiki's Delivery Service because like they dubbed it like in the like mid '90s with a like a wait no. No, the Kiki Delivery Service got a Disney dub because it's got uh, yeah. Phil Hartman's the cat and uh, who's the girl? The girl is uh, Kiki's played by. You'll find it before I can find the disc. What Princeton Duns? What? Kirsten Duns. That's right. Yeah. So it had a Disney dub because they always get they always get big name actresses like. Dakota Fanning and somebody did the redub of of or not Dakota Fanning. Dakota Fanning's little sister was one of the girls in My Neighbor Totoro when they redubbed that. Weren't they both in that? Possibly. I don't know. The original dub is from like when we were kids. Yeah, I know. Whoops. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, I was just I was looking at one of the things I haven't watched yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's Dakota Fanning and Ellie Fanning for That's right. Suzuki. It, it's the 2005 version. There's apparently an older dub version that yeah. has Cheryl Chase, whoever that is. Okay, so... Whoa. Okay, so then after that we have Wake Up Girls TV series Japanese, Punchline Japanese... Trinity Sevens getting an English dub, but no special edition, so that's nice. So usually when that happens, I just buy the DVD because I don't know, I'm lazy and it's cheaper. I'm sure later on I'll feel bad about that because I'll be like, I have a big ass TV and all of your things in low res, but whatever. I don't know. I, I haven't been that I haven't been that upset by the difference between a Blu-ray and a DVD. It's like, oh, it's on DVD. I'll just buy the DVD. That works at everybody's house, not just some of my friends who have money. Yeah. Wouldn't work here. Cross Angie Rondo of Angel and Dragon collection? Okay. Uh, And then we have Hakukai Theatrical Version Chapter 2 Warrior Spirit of the Blue Sky? Never heard of it. And finally, When Supernatural Battles Became Commonplace. We watched a couple of episodes of that. Apparently that's getting an English dub. That's cool, I guess. Well, I guess that's fun. I'm always happy to see these slates when they pop up because it lets me know if there's anything I'm just like, oh my god, I can't live without it. I should definitely buy that. Oh, I didn't want to close that. I wanted to go back. Damn it. I'm not smart. For shame. Good thing I'm on Chrome. Chrome fixes all my problems because I can reopen closed tabs. Ooh, gonna be a Twin Tail English cast announcement. Fun, fun. Please tell me it's an uh, article. Article. Okay. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't know any of these people. Fine. Whatever. Looks like a fun show though. The guy turns into a Twin Tail super powered something or other. I might buy that. I don't know. Oh, well, I'm thinking about it. I think, I think the second part of Akame no Gakil is out. Uh, because if it is, I got to put money on my account ASAP. I, it's pretty early, but I mean, it's possible, I guess. Somebody said it to me earlier, and I haven't checked my account. Oh. Oh, shit. Really? What? Oh, no, that's that's the one I just did. That's the one I just did. I was like, build? What? <laughs> I got, like, really nervous. I was just like, oh, shit. Can I see all of my orders? Is that something? Oh. 
Oh, well, let's go. Oh. Okay, yeah, so it hasn't happened yet. It says pending fulfillment. Wait, pending fulfillment? Shit, is that out? And system says it is in. Oh, I need to put money on my fucking account. Oh, shit. Well, I know what I'll be doing in the morning. Whoops. All right. This isn't supposed to be out till the end of May. It's like the third week of April. I didn't even watch the first part. First part's sitting on my floor right now. I guess I know what I'm doing this weekend, but goddamn. <laughs> Anime trouble, you all. I'll punch you. The fist of fury. Come on all the way to California and prove it, bitch. Yeah, see, the problem if I did that is that I would just end up stopping for, like, tea and baked goods, and we'd end up just having a tea party and watching Animu. Because I'd, 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 have, I'd have made the effort to get out there. By the time I got there, I just wouldn't give a fuck anymore. So I'd just, like, show up with, like, tea cakes and fucking, like, a big fucking satchel of, of dry tea <laughs> leaves on my back. I'd be like, here's the bed, here's Ringo. I'll put something on the TV. <laughs> I just I just flew in and boy are my arms tired. Waka 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 waka. I'm just completely mystified at how at how fast stuff uh Oh I didn't actually one thing about it. I should check my credit card. I told my credit card that it could uh that it was approved because this happened before where I uh I had something go through while I hadn't paid my account. I said that it could it could charge above like a hundred dollars above my limit or whatever without any exceptions. An American express card. So basically they said like, I have a, I have a hard limit, but they'll, if I'm willing to basically immediately pay from my bank account, whatever, you know, X amount above my limit, they'll, they'll let me charge it. And like in an emergency. And I was just like, I was like, if I'm at my limit, just, you know, a hundred dollars is fine. Cause I'm going like anything more than that. I want to know about, but up to a hundred bucks, I can just be like, whatever. Dude, our, our account freaks out when there's not $25 in it. Odd. Uh, what? Oh, that was the one I just made. I was like, uh, they already charged it. No, that was the one I just did. I was like, I was like, that's not even the right amount. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So I gotta. They haven't. They haven't charged my account yet, apparently. But, but I told them they could do that, so that basically, if somebody, if they did a random, a random uh, fulfillment of an order or something, I wouldn't just be like, "Oh shit," because I'm dumb and I put like when I open my my accounts, I put pretty strict controls on them, so that I would never have spending going out of control. Because I'm a weirdo like that. Like, other than my education, I didn't let my spending go crazy. But that's un American. I know. I was going to buy a TV right after I got my tax return. I ended up like, looking, at, looking at what was going on and going, I don't really need the TV and just didn't end up doing it. <laughs> well, all right. I, I feel really un American. Like, I was going to buy a big ass TV and I just ended up being like, uh, I'd have to go through so much work to get it in here, though. It's just like a big TV would be cool, but ultimately frivolous. And so I just never ended up buying it. And I've been saying that for years. Like, this is the first year I've been in a position with a, a job that actually pays really well. Or not really well, but better than any of my other jobs I've ever paid. Because let's be dead honest, even when I was working for the other, the last company, they were not they were not paying me nearly well enough. Mostly because we were struggling the entire time. Had I been in that position in any big company, I would have been making multi, multi hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. All the monies. But anyway, was never was never unhappy. I left that job because that that place went yeah. down the shit real quick. That was a bit of a hellhole. Because I know hellholes. So apparently there's Rumba one half standard edition Blu-rays now as well. So the special editions. 
That's interesting. Did you already uh, own all of Ronma? I own it on DVD. I, I don't I don't actually know that I really care to own it on Blu-ray. That sounds really bad, I'm sure, but I'm just like I just don't think I cared that much. Like I'm just not gonna drop like three hundred bucks to reown a series on, on high def. Like I don't like it that much. <laughs> <coughs> What I will be buying in June, at the end of June, is the uh, Deno Coil collections. In June? Yeah, it comes out in June. Hmm. June twenty eighth. It's gonna it's gonna release. English dub too. Uh, same day that Yurikuma Arashi comes out. I'm told that I really need to give that another try because apparently it gets really good, but like, I just was not able to get past the, it's, what now? You're coming a Russia? Yeah, it's the one, you know, all the cute girls, bears, bear court. Oh, okay. We do this every time. uh, Yeah, I can never remember what the fuck it's called. (laughs) Sorry. (coughs) Cough out the demons, cupcake. Cough them out. Huh, apparently the Love Live movie is coming out at the end of June, too. Well, there goes all my money. Although I'll probably just do like I did for the second season and just wait for the the standard edition to, to pop. Because I don't really give a shit about the big box crap. <coughs> and Lucky Star is getting a release. What? Like a re-release? Yeah, on DVD oh. and Blu-ray. Uh, yeah. Are they gonna dub the OVA? Wait, what? This complete series plus OVA Blu-ray DVD collection. Spoken language English, Japanese with English subtitles. I wonder if the the OVA was only ever subtitles. So I wonder if they're gonna dub it. That'd be cool. So much animes that will. I'm- I'm looking at right stuffs, you know, upcoming or you know, pre-orders to see if there's anything that I want to. Oh wow, a certain magical index season two's got a complete collection coming out in middle mid July. That's cool. I just bought the uh, second season of uh, uh, Railgun like that. I haven't watched it yet, but I bought it. (laughs) (coughs) That takes some cough syrup. Shit. So, um, PayPal had a panel on gender equality and inclusion in the workplace. The panel was all males. The panel? Shit. Or, like, when your women's studies professor is a 75-year-old guy. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that, but when, you know, the entire field is mostly guys. Or when the people who are making laws about your uterus don't have any and aren't even doctors. Is that where there was that comic about, I need a pap smear, who the hell are you guys? Or the judicial committee or something or other? Yeah, it was a a sketch from uh, Amy Schumer because it's legitimately an issue. Nah, nah, it's not legitimately an issue. You're just being silly. (laughs) (laughs) I know. I'm being all dramatic and Sit, uh, wimpy like the woman I am. God, Kiki, you can't let your womanly hysteria just control your life. Gotta get that shit under control. Gotta man up. <laughs> Jesus I, fuck, I can't even fucking keep a straight face. <laughs> hey, I have orgasm r- recently, and from what I understand, that's the cure for hysteria, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta fuck yourself, silly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When I get when I get sick, everything is fucking funny. I don't know what my problem is. Because your brain boiled. <laughs> oh, my brain was already boiled. I was <laughs> bar boiled. Like fucking scrambled eggs over here. Oh god. Like seriously, it can't be that hard. There, there are non dudes in industries. They exist. Oh, uh, people are so dumb. Yeah, let's, let's write this thing on diversity and have it only written by white males. 
or let's make that movie about that historic event, but make a fictional character to replace all the, you know, queer people of color with a straight white guy. Yup. Who was that one? Stonewall Riots. Thank you. Still pissed about it. <laughs> Stonewall Riots were like a defining moment of what was it, the 1950s? Yes, it, it was a pivotal human rights thing. Yeah. That, it was a uh, pivotal moment for our society. It's like, yeah, in general. And way to just kind of shit on a legitimately historical event. It's not like this is a fictional book you were fucking on. Like, that's more of, I think that's more offensive than like the shit about uh, Matoko Kusanagi being a white girl mm-hmm. being played by a white girl. Like, that's I mean, just that's just bad taste. But like, that's still shitty. But that's calling yeah. characters so you can have a white character is just yeah. like, wow, you douche. Not just colored characters, queer <laughs> characters, trans non-straight characters yeah, so that you can make a that, fictional white guy and totally ruin the person from our society would just be like weirdos it's true though i mean that's literally why they wrote them out yeah because, but it kind of undercuts the whole point of the stonewall riots well they don't give a fuck about those people <laughs> they don't want to know about those people they want a nice story that they can be lost in then you didn't have to make it about the stonewall <laughs> riots Okay. Well, that could have been another riots from Earth C. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, it's not hard to make a dumb movie with a white guy lead. We have billions of them. You don't need to to pick up historical events where they're not necessary and then shove them in. Too bad. Gonna do it anyway. <laughs> and I quote you when asked, why would you do that? Because I could. Fuck you. <laughs> Pet- petition to just cancel 2016. Nah. 2016's been a good year. Really? It doesn't feel like it. Well, not to you. <laughs> but I don't get caught up on all the human deaths and shit. I got all the other And cool the loss crap. of, you know, abortion privileges and women's rights issues. and. Well, it will be no different than we were a thousand years ago. Yeah, that's the Not really problem. so much of regression as it's just we're going back to the old days. I don't want to go back to the old days. I'm not really worried. It seems like a personal problem for you. I'm just like kind of high standard. That's <laughs> <laughs> the white male. <laughs> hey, I'm a cripple. I'm not completely a shitlord. <laughs> but I can hide that. So I guess I am completely a shitlord. <laughs> you just imagine Kiki. We're fighting the patriarchy. Looks over a cupcake. What? What? Oh, shit. Looks down at shirt. I am the patriarchy. Ah, god damn it, not again. <laughs> like I can like I can legitimately like see the comic. It's like you and like an angry horde of people. Like we're we're raging against the patriarchy. Like I'm like over in the corner eating like a cupcake, drinking a cup of coffee. And everybody's staring at me. I'm like, what? What? I just like look down. You are the patriarchy. Ah shit. I think I need to make that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I need to fight the patriarchy and a you are the patriarchy. I would totally wear that shirt. Oh, where's my pen? <laughs> oh my god. If you make that shirt, I'll buy one and I'll fucking wear it to work. Because that would just totally be my response to, to that kind of shit. It's just like, ah, oh, crap. There we go. I'm just like, I'm just like picturing like, you and, like, an army of people with, like, pitchforks and torches and shit. And just, like, like the, ah, crap. Well, that's the problem with the, the patriarchy. We're all kind of a part of it because we were raised in it. And that's part of the uh, fight is trying to overcome those things that we were raised with. Yeah, but it's always shitty when you look in the mirror and realize you are the shit lord. Yeah. Patriarchy hurts everyone. It hurts, it's hurting our company, that's for sure. Oh, sorry, not the patriarchy. That's uh, that's the oligarchy. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, uh, so because of the uh, because of the 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 uh, wage hikes, we're not hiring we're not hiring teenagers anymore. Yeah, apparently my husband work work won't be doing that anymore either. Mm-hmm. Mostly because they never really stick around anyway. No, 
because the general increase to fifteen dollars an hour has to happen over the next yeah. years. No, exactly. Our company's like, well, if you want us to pay these wages, well, then we're going to want professionals. So, uh, yeah, no more kids. I'm like, where the hell are you going to find somebody to push carts? Well, I don't know, 60-year-olds? I don't think you understand how this works, Kiki. <laughs> I think you need to go push like 10 or 15 carts and then let me know how it worked out for you. I don't see that happening. I bring my own cart. Yes, you do. You were so excited when you got that damn thing. I was just like, oh my gosh. You're well, not got, but later. started using it. Oh yeah, sorry. Started using it. Which is a shame, because when my phone died, I started going out less by myself, because I don't have a phone, and, uh, yeah. So if you fall, it kind of kiki and deep shit. Yeah. Well, in May, you'll be a free woman again. Mm hmm <coughs> 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 What were you going to talk about today? I thought I had saved something. But maybe it just had to do with Ghost in the Shell. We've kind of already gone over that a couple of times. And how that's just dumb altogether. What the fuck? Oh, what? What the fuck? What the fuck did I just watch? Okay. What the fuck did you just? Fucking idiot! I got, I gotta fucking link it to you. Okay. I can't. You'll, you'll end up on the thing. God damn it! I'll just edit it out. <coughs> okay. <coughs> just on. don't talk while I'm watching it. I won't. Hang on. I'll mute myself. I literally don't know what the fuck to say. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Sit up. Sorry. All right, let's see. All right, I'm gonna mute myself. But I haven't clicked yet, but I can read the title. What? The, what the? What the? What the fuck? <laughs> That's the most insecure bodybuilder about his own wang, for fuck's sake. You can unmute oh yourself the now. Dude, the dude goes, he goes, you don't worry very much. I, I, I don't have the socket, God, I'm the uh, fuck. It's like, I, I, no, no, he's like, no, I, I said you weren't wearing very much down there. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. Jesus then, fucking Christ. And, then he goes, and the, the woman, the woman's fucking cracking up across the fucking road. <laughs> And then the guy keeps going, oh, the jockey, blah, blah, blah. It's a small man with a big penis. Yeah, well, I'm a big guy. Uh, my penis doesn't look as big. And he's like, the dude's just like, I didn't say anything about your penis. God damn it, I've got a big penis. What the fuck? What the fuck? I know you dudes are taught to be insecure about your wings, but holy fucking shit. Like, unless it's like a micro penis, there's nothing to really go home and cry about. I mean, and. Micropenis is, is a legitimate deformity, so... Yeah. I assure you, dudes, if somebody who is about to be sexual with you, or is just being an ass to you and refers to your penis in a negative way, like, oh, that's gonna be too small or some shit, they're just dicks and walk away. Like, if they're saying, wow, what the fuck is wrong with your penis, it's full of blisters, and your penis is full of blisters, maybe you should see a doctor. Indeed. <laughs> Obviously not exclusive to just dudes, but holy fuck do we somehow care a lot about male wang size when it's not even that necessary. Just craziness. Ah, I'm sliding further down in my chair. I'm going to have to remember that link when I post this. Hey. I'm I'm just going through through Reddit for like interesting shit. I was just like, <laughs> what the hell? Well, we've both been sick, so. Yeah, I literally spent like three days just going. Bleh, bleh, bleh. And I mean, stuff has happened in the news, and sadly, some people have passed away. But not really much to talk about in that subject. And he will rise again. 
in fulfillment of the prophecy. And we will know because it will rain purple. <laughs> Not sure if... Shut up, tablet. Oh god, Filthy Frank's got a new video. I have to watch that tomorrow. Apparently Chris Brown has a documentary out about himself. And oh, it's garbage, just like him. I'm somehow not surprised. <laughs> Apparently it tries to paint him as the victim of oh, sure. constant abuse of women. Well, his daddy hit him, so he has to hit women. Yeah, that explains why. That doesn't make it okay. I, I don't even know. I'm just, just yeah. throwing it out. Well, there. I'm just saying things like that in general. Like, yeah, a lot of people do bad things for reasons, usually things that were done to them as children. That doesn't make it okay. That merely explains why, and we should be stopping the cycle, not making it acceptable for them to abuse people. Oh, that's fucking dark as shit. So, you know, you know when people would do those those fake tip deals where it was like, it looks like a dollar. It looks like a like a hundred dollar bill or ten dollar bill, but it actually has like a Bible script on it. Yeah. So a waiter would save those, and then go to like the local church that was good for giving those and put them in the collection plate. Nice. That's fucking evil. That actually sounds like something I would do. It sounds like something I would do. I mean, I wouldn't really feel bad about it. I mean, if I knew. Like a like a good church that was doing good shit for people, I wouldn't do it to. But like, but it was one of those like shit places that was like that was like you know screw everybody you can get your hands on. I wouldn't feel bad. Well, if you're tipping people Bible verses, you're not doing much good. Well, I'm saying you know obviously yeah. there are good churches and bad churches in the same community. And yeah, good church you don't really want to do that to, but a bad church I wouldn't feel bad about. You know, the church up the street from me that has a sign outside, you know, like on their like their message board that says we welcome all people no matter what. There's a um there's a lot of churches in my city. But there's a, a church down the street from the high school. I've been to services at that church because I had a younger friend who for a short while was a part of it. This was before her second baptism. So I would go to her things there because, you know, you're a supportive friend. But their billboard, not billboard, their signboard or whatever, is usually full of bullshit. You know, anti-gay, anti-progressive things, usually. It's that kind of place. Which meant during the school year, occasionally, randomly, these weird religious pamphlets would show up on campus even though you're not allowed to pass out that kind of shit on public school grounds. That's becoming harder. Well, to be fair, I don't know all the churches in town, but the ones I know of, I know of because they're shitty churches. Hmm. Oh, wow. Anime Detour is going on right now. I didn't even know it. It's a local anime con. Well, that's just silly. Well, the impact's also going on right now? Probably. All I know is that uh, <clears throat> Convergence is going on, like beginning of July, and like, like that that the Monday after that weekend, the same same hotel is hosting uh, video games done quick summer. Oh, He's yeah, like, that's whoa, happening. shit! And all my friends are like, you're not going. I'm like, I have to work. That's summertime. I can't take yeah. that off. I mean, yeah, I probably could if I had asked. Like last this time last year but i didn't know it was going to be back here again this year i thought it'd be somewhere else well, this month <laughs> is kubla Khan for hubby so that'd be a oh. week without him oh god it's gonna be a little bit weird because his character's dead well what his, his main character the uh the prince the guy who was prince for a while died oh yeah yeah I mean, he has other characters, but they haven't been around as long, and that's usually the character he would play at Kubla. Yeah. So he's not sure he's going to play at Kubla. <laughs> whoops. This wasn't so much of a whoops as a, I'm playing the way the character is, I think the character should be played, but I very clearly see where this is going, and I'm likely going to end up dead. Crazy. Or deader, as a vampire can be. Oh, that's okay. He's working on making another character for that game. Woo! 
I mean, hell, I currently have two different characters, so. Today I learned that the fundamentalist preachers in Fred Rogers' congregation <coughs> demanded he denounce homosexuals. In response, Mr. Rogers would simply pat them on the shoulder and say, God loves you just the way you are. Hang on, my dog's looking. All right. Transmission interrupted. Connecting transmission. I have no idea what he was working on. Did I miss anything exciting while I was gone? Can you hear me at all? Whole world burned. I didn't leave the earth. I think I would have noticed that. Holy shit. What? The Converse All Star, you know, like Converse sneakers? Yeah. Uh, date back to 1917. I realize Converse has been around that long. Oh, apparently Patton Oswalt's wife died. That's weird, wasn't she? Whoa, okay. 46? Yeah, so she was young. Ish, I guess. I mean, she was also a writer, but I had I'd never seen Anything she wrote, I think. So that was the first place my wine went. Well, that's shitty. Also, uh, apparently there might have been a mass overdose in LA. Great. Hey, Bob, comment anybody? <sighs> so the general consensus now is that dinosaurs are basically giant chickens. Great. <laughs> <clears throat> Hasn't that been the consensus for a while, or was that just not the consensus consensus? Well, I always thought they were giant reptiles. Well, didn't we kind of prove that birds and reptiles aren't that far apart in the first place anyway? Yeah. Oh, wow. Borderlands 3 announced? Holy shit. Borderlands 3? What? Yep. PAX East. That's <laughs> <coughs> the, the three two stuff. What's up? We still haven't finished some of the other games for Borderlands. Well, I don't. I don't think Gearbox is making the other games. Oh, they fucked that. <sighs> Apparently, there's a nice sized protest outside of a Ted Cruz event. For Trans Lives Matter. Wow. Good. Good, I say. Until he gets on his pulpit and goes, Look at these fucking animals! Look at them! That is why we have to put them in cages! Well, he probably wouldn't use those words, but yes. Yeah, sorry, that's more like Trump. Yeah, Ted Cruz isn't one to generally curse. Which is weird, because Trump is pretty, I don't give a fuck what bathroom you use. At least when you're famous, anyway. I just assume the general conservative shit. He'll say whatever's required to get people to go behind him. That's how Trump works. Mm-hmm. That's how most Republicans work, really. It's Not that it, that isn't politics in a nutshell, just more so that the Republican base doesn't really have any ideals anymore. Just say whatever to keep you from attacking their corporate overlords. What was that noise? Uh, my air freshener. I always forget about that thing. Back in the grave, back in the grave, back in the day, Grieve had one of those, and I would always forget about it, and it scared the crap out of me. Mm-hmm. Like, Hanging out over there for the longest time, I wouldn't even notice it, and out of nowhere. Did I tell you that Grieve and Faith are working on their wedding? Oh, good for them. 
sweet little babies will go and get married. And hopefully that won't fuck over their health insurance. Well, Faith health, Faith's health insurance, because Grave still doesn't have any. I still continue to state, I don't know how we, how we can be this fucking rich ass country and we can't figure out a way to get people fucking health care. But I don't know. I am a simple fisherman. Miss Healthcare is a privilege, not a right. I'm basically told anytime I ask anyone, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not old enough or educated enough to understand why it is the way it is. I'm going, no, no, we're one of the wealthiest countries in the world. Like, that's the excuse for I don't actually understand how it works either, but it's the way it goes, so it's the way it goes, usually. We never had this problem up until, like, the last 20 years. Like, I mean, yeah, it was still wasn't great, like, in the 90s, but, you know, it was still doable. A mixture of short-sighted uh, financial gains slash not necessarily a cultural shift, but more of a cultural targeting of bullshit uh, social discourse that people don't really need health insurance, they're lazy, people don't need food stamps, they're lazy, that's whole deal mm -hmm. to keep us downtrodden and honestly controlled obviously I, I know I'm sounding very ex conspiracy theory here, but from a general standpoint, that's really how the system is set up to work. Because they made money into free speech. <sighs> and to keep that, they have to continue, as they have for so many centuries, to control the money. And the best way to do that is to keep your populace poor. Not so poor that it can't give you money, but poor enough that it's very difficult for them to crawl out of the hole that you've created. Which is sadly ruining the economy, the middle class that doesn't exist anymore. General health, suicide rates are skyrocketing again. And because of the short-sighted financial goals that our companies, the environment. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure there's a political and financial professor who could show you the data for it. I'm being very simplistic in my explanation, but that's generally what's happening. <laughs> Well, not what happening, what happened and is perpetuating. Which is why people like Donald Trump and crazy, no longer actual politician lady, whose name I've now forgotten. What the fuck is her name? I have no idea. Either way, are, you know, held up as somehow idols when really they're failures. Da, 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 da. You getting too tired there, bud? Oh, that's my secret, Cap. I'm always tired. Aw, it's sweet that you would think I would be Cap. I honestly don't know which one of the Marvel superheroes you would be. Uh... I was liking to something really lame. I don't remember what it was now, but it wasn't anything nice. Cause we were doing that. We were doing that thing, and my group of friends were like, "You know, what what Marvel superhero would you be?" So he was like, "You know, oh, such and such would be, you know, Deadpool, and oh, and she's, you know, she's, uh, uh, you know, Black Cat, and uh, and and that's that other thing. It was like, and Mike, Mike's uh, Marty the janitor. I was like, <laughs> ow." What did I do? That's the whole thing. You didn't do anything. It's like you're Marty the janitor. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go clean up the mess. I think we've run out of things to talk about. I think so. 
Well then, I guess we'll call it there. Mm. Thank you once again for listening to the super happy fun Jabbertron tea party with Kiki and Bones. Happiness is a butterfly, which when pursued, is always just beyond your grasp, but which, if you will sit down quietly, may alight upon you. Farewell my fellow internet beings. Good night, Kiki. Transmission terminated.